This is Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures coming to you from the floor of the CME here in Chicago with your livestock roundup. And it has been uh, kind of a quiet day here in the cattle complex, but it has been a volatile week. We've traded on both sides of Unchanged, but really haven't gone anywhere fast. Waiting for the cash trade to develop a little bit, which it seems like it's starting to here this afternoon. Hearing about 113 in Nebraska, fairly steady with last week's trade. From the technical perspective, we want to see this October contract get about uh, above 108. If we can do that and achieve consecutive closes out above that, I think that invites new buyers into the market. It could propel us towards 110 to 111. From there, I think it's going to be a little bit of a struggle to break out with conviction. I wouldn't be surprised to see the board and cash work together to narrow that basis. Now, as far as the feeder cattle are concerned, very pivotal point here for that October contract, 140, basically right in the middle of a recent trading range, 135 to 145, which is uh, very fitting considering we're just around the corner of a USDA report, which will have a dramatic uh, effect on feeders. If we get towards the top end of that range, would love to be a seller of October feeders, bottom edge, love to be a buyer right here in the middle of no man's land. I think the best trade is no trade. Now, wrapping things up with the lean hog market, Lean hogs extremely volatile, trading in about an 840 range on Monday on the back of those uh, headlines with regards to China. It was nice to see the market springboard higher, but we really want to see more conviction and more follow through to the buy side out above 70 for that Chicago contract. Until we can achieve consecutive closes out above 70, the bears have a little bit of an advantage. With that said, I think a lot of the bad news is priced in, and if ASF continues to spread, there will be a, a bid and a premium put back into this market. So that's what we're looking at. That's what you should be looking at, too. This has been Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures from the floor of the CME.